Hey guys, thanks for watching. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe here to Fino Boxing and follow us at all our social media platforms at Fino Boxing and my personal one is at Adriana underscore sports. Enjoy. And you know, I kind of, I kind of got impatient because, you know, um, lead up to the fight, I kind of got carried away because of lead up to the fight and, um, you know, there was, was, was a lot of trash talking going on between us two and, you know, I kind of wanted to hurt him. So, you know, I kind of, I kind of, uh, lack on my defense a little bit, and um, you know that's that just goes with experience. I'm gonna get right back in the gym, get ready for uh, get ready for my title shot. Did 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 he show you something, and did you show him something that that caused the uh, lack of early punching? There wasn't a lot of activity in the early rounds. A lot of punching um, was it something that you were you saw that you were unable to break through, or well, for him that you were. We're from the same pedigree. We're from the same uh, pedigree. You know, um, we, we we got we got similar styles, but different. You know, so my my style, I I, I got more upper body movement, more footwork than he does. Like I said, I, I felt like I had, you know, I was a couple steps ahead of him. But um, you know, he he knew what to counter with. Whenever I made mistakes, I try not to make mistakes. He didn't want to make mistakes, and that's why I was slow in the beginning. All right, we're going to take some questions here. Uh, Corey, you'll just have to promote me so I can unmute. Uh... Thank, Thank you. you. Go ahead, Keith. Eidek from Boxing Scene. Keith, you're up. Congratulations, Erickson. Uh, in the 10th round, he hit you with the right hand that seemed uh, to make you lose your footing a little bit. Uh, how, how hurt were you at that point? And, and... What did you I, think? I was able to recuperate fast. It was it was a, it was a, it was a nice shot. Yeah. Um, it was just a, it was a it was a blind shot, you know. Um, props to him for uh, being able to throw that shot and land that shot. But you know, I was able to recuperate. Like as soon as I got hit and I buckled, I just I, I was already back in the fight. I was already back in the fight. It's nothing that I had to really like, you know, like back up or continue holding him. You know, I, I made sure my footing was good. I made sure everything was okay, and then I got right back to you know. Right back to work, and I end up hurting him. So by the end of the tenth round, you felt okay. In other words, for sure, yeah. Well, uh, you hit him with a really good right hook. I, I know there wasn't a lot of time left in the fight, but how how did you feel? Uh, you hurt him with that right hook. I, I, felt, I felt like, honestly speaking, I felt like if there was at least one more minute on that clock, um, I could have stopped him. I felt like I could have stopped him. He was, he was badly hurt. You know, he continued holding me until the end of the fight. Uh, did you sense him wearing down? Because you went after him in the twelfth round. Did you sense him wearing down at some point? Um, not too much. He was able to hide it pretty, uh, pretty well. But um, I knew, I knew, I knew um, my hand speed was faster than his. I knew I was just like a couple steps ahead of him, like with everything, every department. And I knew my hand speed, my footwork was faster than him. So I knew. I, I just listened to my my corner. They told me, you know, keep 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 letting off shots keep turning him he's gonna run into something and then you know he backed up to the ropes because you know uh, he seemed vulnerable at that time so I threw a big right hook and I landed it and then I wanted to get him out of there you know to make a statement in the last round but you know he was able to you know um, just survive pretty much preferences that title you know uh, all them titles you know it's three titles on the line that's what I want I want the titles I'm, 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 I'm gonna be tuned in for sure but uh, made the best man win Thanks, Archer. Thank you. Okay, thanks. We're going to go to our John, next. Congratulations. What what should say about you that you've climbed climbed all the way back since the loss from Charlo? What you know, when sometimes a knockout like that could you know make a, a lesser fighter maybe go the other way, and you you know you climbed all the way back, and you're right on the brink of you know where you were before. Well, I mean, that, that, that just goes to so show character you know so I, I face adversity and i bounce back i've been through I've, I've been through worse in my life so you know for me to bounce back the way i did um it just it just tells you a lot about me i'm a warrior I'm a fighter uh, i've been fighting my whole life so um you know i'm right back i'm right back to the mandatory spot i'm the mandatory wbc title and you know um i'm ready to become champion i i think i think mauricio uh Suleiman for giving me this wbc silver strap i'm ready for the world title Thank you. Hey guys, I hope you guys are safe at home.
home in quarantine, but don't forget to subscribe here at Fino Boxing and follow my personal one at Adriana underscore sports. And guess what? We're going to knock out this coronavirus.